Purple sector one. Oh, holy shit. <laughs> yeah, that was a big moment. Just doing some rally driving. All right, hello guys, Dirk Schutten here. So we are ready for a qualifying session at Sandford. It is round two of Porsche Carrera Cup Benelux. Yeah, really good uh, session here. Uh, we finished in P3 and in P1. My first pole position in Carrera Cup Benelux. I'm gonna show you around, the uh, what techniques I use to be quite quick. I hope you're gonna enjoy it. Sandford is a really fun track to drive, so uh, yeah, I'm sure the onboard will be uh, satisfying. So starting our first push lap, we just did the two warm-up laps. At this point, the tires aren't really that warm, so I know this push lap is not the not the most important one because yeah you want to get the tire in a window where you can really feel the grip and at this point I couldn't really feel that We are going for a 36.2 or something, at least for the second uh, set. The first set you use is not really important, just mainly to get in a rhythm, to feel what the track is doing. But the track is always improving uh, throughout the qualifying session, so you always see that uh, at the end of the qualifying session, everyone is setting their fastest time, so... But still, you want to get a good lap, because maybe there's a code red, someone crashed, and then, uh, yeah, it could be over. First lap, a 36.9. Um, pretty decent, but at this point I know like I can go a lot faster. So we start to really push right now. And green on my delta. I'm probably around three tenths quicker. So I have to keep pushing. Second uh, lap. Ah, uh, the tiny correction, and then we uh, we go off. Yeah. I hold the brakes a bit too long. Auto wel onder controle, of net voor het schrijfvlak eigenlijk, kijk maar. Eerst nu de schrijfvlak, je ziet hem eigenlijk kwijt. So we just fast forward to, uh, yeah, we go in, in the box, because basically the tires are already destroyed. So we have to come in, check everything. Yeah, this is not ideal, because um, you want to get in a rhythm. Get a fast time in and then this happens yeah at least i tried and that's also what my coach said uh, derek you have to try definitely in the first session because it's not the not the most important one so yeah now uh, everyone is in the pits and we are going out for the second set of tires I think this was, in the end, this was the wrong call, but... At least we don't have any traffic, which is a good thing. So we can set a time, but yeah, obviously the track is going to improve. Fast forward to the first push lap. So you can see the cars coming out.
green on the delta. Here you can really see how much grip I have. Like the front is really working well. And if I put the power down, just the traction is there. And, and that's, a, that's an unbelievable feeling. So we have to keep pushing. This is gonna be the lap. Last corner, we have a purple sector too, and we're going over the line, let's see, it's going to be a 36.3, which is actually a pretty decent lap, um, I've never gone into the 36 before, so uh, I was quite happy at this point, but obviously you know the track is only getting better. And my tires are only getting worse, so it's not ideal, but we have to keep pushing. Good first sector, uh, a little bit of traffic, I would say one tenth. Yeah, you can also see it in the delta. It's a 36.49, two tenths up on my time. Yeah, we have to uh, keep pushing because we have to set two good times for quality two. That's a 36.54, not an improvement in both laps. One more shot, come on. Ah, this corner was actually really good. I went in quite deep. I could carry a lot of speed and then Turn the car, rotate it, and then bam on power. Ah, shit. 
Yeah, we had a little snap of oversteer and then I had to correct it. And now I'm doing some extra rally driving. I have to watch my mirrors because two fast cars are approaching. Tires are finished and we go in. So basically that's our qualifying session. And my competitor is also going off. Yeah, I'm quite happy about the session. Obviously, uh, I took quite some risk, but my coach said it uh, before, like, Eric, you have to at least try. Try to find the limit, uh, sometimes go over it, uh, but at least you learn from it. That's what you can also take with you to the next qualifying sessions, but also to the races. So we finished the first qualifying in P3. And then the second one in P1, it's my first pole position. So your fastest lap in qualifying counts for race one. And that's why I got P3. So your two fastest laps combined, divided by two. That's your starting position for race two. Uh, so I had two times that were really close to each other. And that's why I'm, I was on pole for race two. Really happy with that one. And also I can see in my driving, I'm really improving. The car was really working well, so big thanks to the team. Also big thanks on the, the GoFundMe. The support is amazing. Yeah, for 100 euros, you can get your sticker on the car. Um, it's amazing to see all the stickers right now in the car getting quite packed. And I'm, uh, yeah, I'm loving it so far. So thanks all for the support really means a lot i want to take this a lot further i want to drive porsche super cup that's that would be the main goal uh also for this season a couple of races in uh, super cup but i need to find that little bit extra budget if you want to support me check the link in the description it really means the, the world to me the races were really exciting so i, I can't wait to show it to you i uh, got some trophies so uh Always good, so I hope you enjoy that. Uh, leave a comment, a like, subscribe, and uh, yeah, see you in the next one, Legends.